What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here, my name's Luke, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Creamer as a part of my Does It Suck series. The Creamer is a unique Torg launcher that comes from completing round 5 of the Creature Slaughter Dome. Like other Slaughter Dome rewards from the vanilla game, the reward is a Moxie weapon. This particular Moxie weapon has a unique spread pattern. After a certain distance, it does explode and then turn into two more rockets. And the trajectory of the two extra rockets is somewhat random. Sometimes they'll come very close together, other times they'll fork away from each other pretty far, and sometimes they'll both go right or they'll both go left. Um, you know, it's a little bit weird. But the important thing to note is that the um, initial explosion, the explosion which turns the initial large projectile into two smaller projectiles, is always going to be a fixed distance from the player, depending on several factors. That may include projectile speed increases like velocity or accelerate, Malawan parts on the uh, rocket launcher will also make the uh, projectile move quicker, and so will a particular rocket launcher accessory. I find it probably best to have um, no speed increases um, for the creamer so that we can try to get the uh, distance just right. Now, I don't know if uh, this guy will get attracted to the turret. He may or may not. Either way, um, we can look here, and this is about the distance we want uh, to kill that ironclad there. And so, as you can see, it took uh, two shots to kill that ironclad. It'll take less to kill this guy, obviously. Um, and then there will be one more guy up here for us, the one with uh, fire damage over time, probably. The one I'm worried about. But, oh, nope, there he is. Uh, but as you can see, the Creamer and the Pimpernel, unfortunately, to an extent, um, absolutely wreck those enemies. And... Um, I just, I like the Creamer. You know, it's not as powerful as the Norfleet. It's not as powerful as the Bada Boom, or even the Topnia or PBFG, you know, the commonly used launchers, the Nukem, I think some people use. Um, it's not that strong. However, it is um, plenty strong enough to um, kill enemies like this. See how this guy's kind of stopped? We can definitely find uh, the sweet spot on him and kill him. And it almost killed this guy as well. So it's fairly powerful. I really like this weapon on uh, Krieg too. On the very few times that I play Krieg, um, it's very cool with his, uh, you know, uh, what's that skill that makes everything explode? Blood explosion skill. Um, I like it a lot with that. Because sometimes you can get some sweet overkill going with this weapon, um, which is cool. There are two guys right here, so I'm just going to put the rocket over both of them twice. And it almost killed the front one, but it did kill the back one, so uh, we'll finish these guys off. I'm just going to charge this guy here and uh, put out one uh, rocket just because I knew that it would kill them. Awesome. So, um, definitely want to reload this. There may be a uh, big badass coming. Or at least an ironclad, you know. Um, so, it'll be interesting to see if uh, we can kill this guy before our uh, battlefront ends. There we go. Perfect. Now, we'll have to figure out what we're going to do about these guys up here. I have no worries about taking out the ultimate badass nomad. Um, but the bone crusher may be a little bit tough. Oh, and I haven't been using grenades at all. I could have been using quasars or something to... Uh, you know, really get these guys together or something. That was stupid. Whatever, I'm just going to throw that there while my uh, turret re re redeploys. Um, just because I'm tired of looking at them, I guess. Anywho, we'll find the appropriate distance from them. And then as you can see, the uh, Creamer does plenty of damage and it will take them out. Personally, I do not think the Creamer sucks. The combination of its damage... Um, and special effect with the rocket splitting is more than enough for me to say that the weapon is good. Um, however, for some people, that wouldn't be enough. And the creamer might still be good enough for them in reality, though, because of its healing. And so, you know, once all of its effects are added up, I would say, oh man, that sucks. I hate when that happens. Um, I tried to longbow my turret in there, but it, yeah, it was stupid. Um, yeah. So, a lot of people may not be a huge fan of the Creamer, but it would be incredibly difficult to say that it sucked. The Creamer is a strong weapon, um, and it's popular, at least with a few people. Um, 
someone I used to play Axon with really liked the weapon, um, and I do too. Or someone I used to play with that played Axton. I didn't necessarily play Axton with him. We didn't like get together and have Axton parties. But he occasionally played Axton. I occasionally played um, not Axton for the most part. And, uh, you know, the Creamer is not a bad weapon, basically. I saw him use it to great effect. And I personally have used it to what I feel is great effect on occasion. So, um... I can just tell you, you know, that the Creamer is a pretty solid weapon. Let's see if I can't kill some of the other enemies in here with it. Without Battlefront, obviously, it does less damage, but I ain't scared. It'll be interesting to see if we can make it through uh, the area here with this amount of ammo. The Quasars could help with that. Alright, so um, I'm going to try to back up for the sweet spot on this guy. Depending on which side he comes from here. Ah, didn't even get him at all. Did a terrible job against this guy. Took three rockets. Um, but that's okay. Alright, so we're just trying to uh, get within range of all of these fellas. But, I guess there's only one of those fellas left. Okay, so how many rockets do I have left? I want to try to make it through here, but I've only got five rockets. So that's not any good. Alright, definitely want to make sure this guy is slagged up. That guy with the uh, corrosive dot is scaring me. I also like this because it can kill enemies behind cover with relative ease. Um, which I like, because sometimes enemies behind cover irritate me a great deal. Um, so, now I kind of need to kill this guy in order to get quick charge active. So, that was a necessary uh, kill there. Because I didn't think I could do it with uh, the creamer from that distance. But I can definitely do uh, that from the creamer from that distance. So that's kind of cool. Um, it is possible to kill yourself with the creamer. As you guys may have seen in my Axton Heroes Pass video near the end. Um, but the creamer a lot of times is very helpful in staying alive more than anything. So that's cool. We'll see if we get rockets here in the next room. If we don't... Um, so be it, you know, I guess that will kind of be a uh, killing blow for the episode. Or, I, uh, I don't know, I can go to Pete's bar real quick and we can do that with the uh, creamer. I'll be right back. Alright, so we're here in the uh, bar brawl and we're going to see how we do against uh, these enemies and stuff. Um, obviously, properly spaced from an enemy, it's going to absolutely wreck them. At least those small enemies. We'll have to find some bigger enemies and uh, see how we do against them as well. But, um, in small spaces like this, you know, it is necessary to, uh, know where you can and won't kill yourself from, so, um, that's always important. We'll finish that guy off. We have four more of those to kill. We can get started right here, obviously. If I land, uh, the sweet spot right in the good spot on him, uh, we can deal, you know, multiple damage to him in, uh, one, or... We can kill him, basically, in one magazine, which is the goal a lot of times. Alright, still got 18 rockets. We should be able to make it through this. Especially if we can, uh, you know, combine uh, damage against these guys here. Alright, so let's get those guys in that uh, corner up there. Obviously, I don't want to be in that corner, but... This is the corner from which we will uh, spam rocket damage. Or in which we will spam rocket damage, not from which. But, um, if they let me jump down here, I can get all sorts of damage on these guys and finish off this quest. I guess I should get him slagged. That would help. And there we go. So that's completed. Obviously, the Creamer isn't, you know, super powerful. It's not, like, a huge weapon or anything like that. But it is good enough for stuff like that, as you just saw a double kill and um, a pretty cool one at that. I like the Creamer. So, um, 
I think, you know, maybe if it did suck a little, my personal bias would be enough to say that it's still a good weapon or a fun weapon or something like that. But I think even with my personal biases set aside, this is still a good rocket launcher. Not a great rocket launcher, obviously. Not the Bada Boom, not the Norfleet, but a high tier rocket launcher, I would say. It does well. I like it, and obviously the healing can be invaluable at times. So the answer to the question, does it suck, relating to the Creamer, is in my opinion, opinion a resounding no. Obviously, it's best with Axton and Krieg. I actually really like it on Krieg as well, but can be used effectively by all characters across all different levels of the game. If you guys have any questions or comments or whatever, be sure to leave those below and I'll try to reply to them. At the very least, I will read them. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I'd appreciate that as well. Otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.